Hey, it's Coach with Tactical Hive. Uh, here to talk to you about training. Everybody likes to train. Everybody gets caught up on drills, running and gunning and all that fun stuff. And that's fun. But unless your fundamentals are really good, you're not gonna hit, okay? And only hits count. So as you do this, uh, you, you gotta fall back on your fundamentals. You wanna go fast. They get, people get caught up on that timer. Use the timer uh, when you execute a technique to show you what you don't own yet. Okay, you get that little bit of time stress in there, it's gonna cause you to kind of rush things and maybe not do a technique the way you're supposed to. So the way to get better at that is to slow down and think about this, we call it chunking. So you're gonna just this piece. So you're gonna break this move, we'll just go with the draw, okay? So from the surrender position, I'm just gonna practice coming back here and finding that gun first, okay? Once I've done that a bunch, of times, I can confidently find that gun, you know, nice and high. I'm gonna touch, drive, make sure I get, ah, there's my good combat, you know, my master grip, whatever you wanna call it, good firing grip. So I'm gonna touch, drive down. Touch, drive down, okay, and I, I can pull this now. Okay, so I've got that now. So the, the next step is to touch, drive, bring it up in front of your face, Okay, as soon as I see the sights, my finger goes on the trigger. Okay, it doesn't press a shot off, but it puts some pressure on that trigger. So if you're not used to doing that, and a lot of people aren't, because they're used to, okay, full extension, then your finger goes on the trigger, that's the safest way, and that's honestly how we start. But once you've got to the point where you're gonna start to draw, you want your finger on the trigger early so that you can build, add pressure to the trigger as you punch out, and that will, it, it cuts down your time. So, if I'm coming up here and go, all right, to practice that, we're gonna do that a couple more times. We touch drive, as soon as it's up in front of my face, finger goes on the trigger. Okay, that felt pretty good. Okay, keeping the shoulders down, keeping my head up. Okay, touch, drive, finger goes on the trigger, as soon as I see the sights. So now I've got that. So now I'm gonna practice bringing this hand here to that next touch point. So I can start from here, finger on the trigger, touch point, and as I press out, I'm building my grip and adding pressure to the trigger. Now a lot of ranges, when you go live fire, they won't let you go from the draw, they don't trust you, but pretty much everybody's gonna let you start from here because you're muzzled down range, and if your hand's up in here, you know, if you're touching your chin, then you know where your hand is. If you're not touching your chin, your hand will kind of wander, and when you start going fast, you don't want to get your hand in front of your, uh, of your muzzle, okay? So, get up here, finger on the trigger, touch, drive, punch out, okay? Now I notice my head kind of sunk down a little bit, because that's a training scar I have. So, we're gonna work on that. Keeping my head up. <clears throat> start from the surrender position, Touch, drive, finger on, grip, punch out. And I'm straight along my sight line, check myself out when I'm up here. I'm like, okay, my head's nice and high, got a good grip, and everything's good. So you, you do those little chunks, and you can do this with any technique. This is just the draw here. If you're worried about your mag changes, or if you're working with your rifle, same thing. You get whatever the the technique is that you're practicing, you want consistency. And the way to get consistency is to go slow, okay, and do some repetitions. So you're gonna use that timer to show you what you don't own yet, all right? This is gonna help because like, I've got training scars that go back 30 years, and I'm still fighting those. I'm ducking my head down, hunching my shoulders, things like that, that just began, uh, you know, I did those so many times early on, they, they ingrained themselves pretty hard. So when I'm teaching new guys now, I'm teaching them clean, clean techniques. So they're nice and smooth, they're not gonna have those training scars later on. Of course it's gonna take, you know, the FBI says it takes 3,000 clean reputations to basically, you know, uh, become competent, okay, to make it more natural. So if you start working these techniques clean, one day you can be as good as me or better. Hell, you know, just do it a couple hundred thousand times, you're in there. All right, try these techniques and see what you got. Um, hit me up in the comments. Let me know what, how it works for you.